who knew a grinder could do such a beautiful threat? Hey, what's up everybody? It's Scott with Titans to CNC, and I'm back here with the Studer S41 from United Grinding. In the past few weeks, we've been taking some test cuts. We did some OD grinding, we did some shoulder grinding, and then we did some ID grinding. Now we're starting to move into some of the more advanced capabilities of this machine. We're gonna do some OD threading. We got a part that we're gonna put a 9 16 by 12 thread on, and it's gonna be a D2 tool steel. In order to create a thread on this part, we're gonna to have to dress the wheel. We're actually gonna cut a profile of the thread directly into that wheel using Studer Win and Studer Thread. So we're using a UN 916 12 thread. We have the major diameter, which is 562, the TPI or pitch, and the amount of leads you want on the thread. So on this page, we're gonna determine the profile of the wheel to cut our thread. Now, typically on like a turning insert on a lathe machine, you would have one edge creating the entire thread. Since we have a wheel that's about an inch, inch and a quarter wide, we can create a multiple ribbed wheel with multiple cutting edges to help us create our profile a little bit easier. So now that we've defined the geometry that we want on our wheel, we're gonna generate the subroutine that's gonna actually cut the profile on that wheel. Now that our programming is done, we've dressed our wheel with the profile of the thread in it. We're gonna load our part into the three jaw chuck and that's gonna help keep the part clocked properly so that if we need to re-thread, we can. And once we take that part out, you'll never get it back in the same position, similar if you were turning uh, on a lathe. So if you noticed on the wheel, the cutting edges are actually perpendicular to the part. They're straight. So how does it create that helix on the part? Well, in this particular application, we're gonna create the thread by going to full depth as the part rotates once. As it does that, the C and the Z are actually working together. So as the part is spinning, you're actually getting Z movement as well and it's creating that helix. So once it comes to full depth, then it's gonna traverse across the part until the thread is finished. All right, our thread's cut. Now we're gonna take a look at it. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. I don't know about you guys, I've done some turning before and done some OD threading and it's this beautiful concentric and it should be a 0.562 thread on the major diameter. There we go, we got 50 millionths from our target. Isn't that awesome? Who knew a grinder could do such a beautiful thread? So if you guys want to see more of the capabilities of this machine, the Studer S41 from United Grinding, make sure you stick around for more content. We got a lot more for you guys. We'll see you next time.